I'm going to show you how to use Wireshark to decrypt wireless traffic that's encrypted with WPA. Now this video isn't about cracking the password that you don't know. Uh, this, this assumes that you know the passphrase, it's your network, and you just want to see the actual client traffic going to a specific device. Now to do that, we need to capture the four-way handshake and we need to know the passphrase. So here's what happens just in Wireshark if you do a normal old capture. Okay, I'll start a capture and I'll join the network. Okay, we've joined. Now, as you can see here, we have lots of data frames. I'll just stop that. We have this data frame, that data frame you can tell over here, but it's encrypted. We don't know what it is. That, that could be anything. Okay, at the moment, that's all, we, that's all we have. But what we can do is in Wireshark, if you go up to Preferences, Protocols, and go to IEEE 802.11. We have an option here for enable decryption, and you put in the decryption keys. So the key I'm going to add for this is a WPA password. Uh, the PSK would be the actual 64 hex characters, but most people just use a password. So we'll use a password. Now the key format is the passphrase, which is uh, some secret. That's what I called it. And the network I joined is CWNE88. Okay, once that's in there, press OK now. What we can see is the actual traffic. So you see HTTP and blah, blah, whatever else. So now you can, that was the IP address of this phone, by the way. So now you can do normal things like IP address equals 1.10 and just see it as though it's a normal capture. So that was captured out of the air. But to do that, you do need to capture the four-way handshake, which is when you associate to a network. And without that, you won't be able to decrypt it because that's when the actual traffic encryption keys are made. So you need the passphrase, the network name, and a capture of the four-way handshake. That's it.